Ow. Ow. <sighs> which one? What are we watching? Oh, you suck. Mecha Streisand. Why have I suck? Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh that, that's the episode. That's the, the one from season one. The first appearance of Barbara Streisand, the, uh, the Kaiken. Yeah, yeah, put that <laughs> on, yeah. Oh, what? The Kaiken. The Kaiken. The fuck's the Kaiken? Oh, you'll see what the Kaiken is. It's like the Kraken, but it's the Jewish Kraken. <laughs> Cake. What's the Kraken? <laughs> Cake is like a slang word for Jew. No, no, what's... Okay. It's, it's like early South Park. It's fucking awesome. Wow. It actually looks pretty... It still looks pretty good, though. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start in a few seconds. Yeah, I'll move that a bit closer in the world because it falls in. Yeah, no, it's just so we get better pick up. So. Pick Can up. you lower that just ever so slightly? Thank you for the yeah, oh, oh, I'm too okay. sorry. Right, okay. <sighs> Shall we begin? We'll begin what? Shall we begin? Well, considering you already started yeah. like a minute ago. No, I know, I'm going to cut <laughs> it up until this point so I can Don't actually officially up. begin it. Don't cut anything up. I thought it was way just. No, no, yeah, but that's why we were sitting down. down. I was waiting for me to get down as well. No, no, no. Well, for the 10 seconds in which you had to get you move your feet so I could even sit down. Well, fuck we you. Could get man. Sh- we could get fuck all done. I was comfortable. Uh, welcome to the second episode of what we're calling Filler. Yeah. Not like Thriller, which was actually entertaining. Like all killer no uh, <laughs> This is Filler. <laughs> Filler, yeah. <laughs> you know you're fucking bored when you're listening. Yeah. Filler, <laughs> fell No, no, no. Uh, so yeah, welcome back. This is it's the second diary episode. Diary of flowing through your ears, dude. <laughs> Cause it is fell. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Laurie just left. I came back. <laughs> right. And we're just gonna start off because I know that you don't want to tell the story, but we're gonna make you tell it. Oh. I want you to tell me a story about Declan. Uh, no. Yeah. Um, no, man. It's yeah, cool. I'll bleep out his name. No, because there's only one guy <laughs> that would feature our old school. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, no it was, it no, was just it was the just, one guy that will find it hard. It to wasn't so it much laughing at Declan. It was more the way the teacher yeah, was like... Yeah, that's really what I was going for. Like, yeah, they introduced... Yeah, why don't we call him Mohammed? Just yeah. to... Just like, because we were to we were censor about, what his real right, okay, name we were about eight years hand. old, right? Right, we were about eight years old or something like that, and they got both like the primary two mm. classes, the A and B, and like told, got us in a room and said, "Yeah, this boy's coming in tomorrow, and he's going to be wearing a wig." <laughs> and what you need to know is Declan has alopecia. Mom, Dad, what's alopecia? Uh, that, that's that's the, the moment when more. you turn around there on the whiteboard, it's just alopecia. Yeah. And just and people have got yeah. Oh, that alopecia starting tomorrow. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but no, like that was that. Yeah, it was. Uh, that, like we'd never, we'd never heard anything like, and it was just like the way they introduced it to us. So just like to kids, it wouldn't have been any different, but they yeah. made it something because. The, the way they told us yeah that. like and the way she said you said that she said like you weren't to speak about it to anyone in the class or yeah like, especially mention not mention it yeah. to Declan yeah that was it was, it was and I, I felt like that was like an unfair burden to put on kids like yeah if it just if it just happened just had different hair like kids mm. wouldn't like they might notice it and point out and say things but they wouldn't know it didn't matter yeah you know, it was just fucking kids uh, but fucking kids. I mean, there was this guy in my maths <laughs> class. There fucking was, kids. There was this guy in my maths class at Can high you? school, and he used to turn up <laughs> about <laughs> once a month, and he was one of those kids that you know, like he'd fucking shit himself and stuff. Yeah. Like not even like I don't know if that's well, on head a mental. Basis. Like what? Like, like on a regular basis. Yeah, like you know, well into his teens, and I don't know if he was like head mental or you know, like body mental, but. You know, he you was shit Head himself. mental as in mental and or body mental as in As in, you know, like had something wrong with his like anatomy that made him see. shit himself. But the bottom line was kid was shitting himself. Except for the doctor something. said to him, oh, his mom. <laughs> he's just like, the diagnosis doctor. is bottom line is kid <laughs> shitting himself, <laughs> right? Something's <laughs> gotta be done. So their solution apparently was to put him in my maths class. And me and yeah, Gavin Patterson, and in front of me and Gav Patterson, and his, you know, carer would come up to him every so often. And I remember one, like, class we're doing like trigonometry or some other useless fucking shit that you learn in maths, oh, and Jesus. 
like part of my anti-intellectual strain came out there. I apologize. You know, and she's halfway through that, and he just sh- shudders a little bit, and his carer crosses the room, and just goes, "Gary, yeah, was that a solid, and or a liquid, right?" Oh. And Cap just turns to me. I've never seen anyone look more mortified in my fucking life. He's just like. That we just hear what we thought we just fucking heard, and then the smell. Get yeah, about five what? minutes because those rooms are they're not full on air conditioned, but they've got a light breeze at any given time. Mass quarter was always fucking cold, and uh, to me anyway. And yeah, it just begins to fill the room. Thing? And I went thought in my head it's going to take about five ten minutes for the rest of the class to become aware of this. And sure enough, you know, out of the fucking uh, blue, you just heard Cheryl who had detected. The, you know, the scent of shite on the air. And she just went, here, is somebody just fucking shit themselves, right? And, and I quote, right? Like, this is about fourth year, third year. Uh, yeah, and this kid sort of gets led out and he's wearing, he's wearing like, sort of grey school trousers. Oh. You know, the kind you can see everything. Oh. And it's, it's not just a, a damp spot, it's a brown spot, like, so she was wrong it was both a liquid and a solid you know and that's what I to, learned in maths class he tried, guys. To, he tried to hide it from your mind but I, I've seen everything <laughs> I, I've seen everything <laughs> would you not just put them in nappies or something you'd fucking think so you know the kid's yeah. shitting himself and you, you've got to be doing something just about that even fucking adult people start thinking you're mistreating the kid so it wasn't where boxers were was he oh probably not I mean he's probably I don't know. I mean, you you'd take a fucking friend, spare set, but no, because if and then got, there was that if got kid. Briefs, it's not as yeah. bad. Then it'll kind of stay there. I don't want to go against like the fucking mentally and physically infirm. So I'm going to switch the topic fairly quickly <laughs> <laughs> away from. <laughs> yeah. So. So on the any fucking the ideas, guys? <laughs> <Mentally> <laughs> really, yeah, we just can't nerves. get that image out of our mind now. Thank you for imprinting it to us and the listener. The kid just soiling himself in the middle of his mask class. Like, yeah. I said listener if someone is listening, but yeah, I was trying to be polite. It's right? more or less unlistenable. <laughs> don't want to hear no, but shit. you know, like, okay. it, uh, like, it's always fucked up when the kid with problems <coughs> isn't the most fucked up person in your class, mm. though. Like, Robin Elliot, that was like a taboo issue. That was like Declan's <laughs> hair. When I was is in... Robin Elliot again? Uh, she's... Ned. Blobular. Fat on Ned. Fatted, Ned. Fat on Ned. <laughs> they're, they're really like, she was really big. Yeah. These she don't get posted really on tall. Facebook, so it's all good. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she was ridiculously tall, so she towered over me. Mm. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> her, yeah. She was both, she was both like gangly and <laughs> blobular. Like, she was a combination of the two. Um, <laughs> she didn't have the sort of sloth look of a Matty Waugh she was more like <laughs> the height of Andy Williamson she was like the, the female Jacob Augustus a, Gloop and, no. you know you know Augustus <laughs> Gloop from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory did I, did I, what did you say there? <laughs> pretty much <laughs> no no I guess it's probably more Laura Jack actually oh Laura Jack like was dwarfed yeah, by Robin Elliott <laughs> but then, Laura Jack just, like they were I know they dogs, fall into yeah. the same general category of Fat Ned, yeah. but like she, know, she was the big fat Ned, who, and Laura was the middle fat Ned. Who was the little fat Ned? Yeah, hmm? who was the little, <laughs> little, little we, fat, we fat Ned? We fat Ned, bitch. Who was we oh, fat Ned? Um, bitch? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Oh fuck this hyper! By the way, look at that. It looks so oh, nice. No, no, no. Uh, oh. Food. No. Um, Every melt. Funniest uh, childhood experience in primary school. Funniest. Yeah, right off the top of your head. A uh, one that <laughs> me and Laurie. We're gonna narrow in too much on the criteria of that particular the, story, but go. When you're in the changing rooms, uh, uh, a PE, oh. and then um, we're all just getting changed after gym or crap, and then I don't know who was it that walked in. It was like a few get people. There was a few of them, and um, they all got like came into the room, hmm. just looked at. Uh, Graham Brown oh, yeah. turned the lights off and just went out of the oh, yeah. the I remember hearing about that that same day and someone's like Sean's 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 it was basically all the nerds from our year I think yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Wait, I don't know, I don't know like, I heard it like I, it was that someone telling me that story that day it's like that that you know how you get words that you you just you yeah, use at certain times of your life and you just they fall out of fashion it's like YOLO but you know um 
And I remember somebody just going, here, did you hear that? <laughs> I quote, here, did you hear that Graham Brown got pure paggard? <laughs> like, paggard, whatever the fuck. Or heifter, man. What yeah. the fuck ever happened to heifter? Hmm. Uh, what's Sean saying? No, I was just um, asking, like, when's, when are we going to leave you or whatever? Right, because so he wanted to chill there. He wanted to chill there. Uh, Fair enough. I can chill for a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, so what, <coughs> you, you're Graham Brown getting paggered in the toilets. Also, oh, there's eat, another. There's, yeah, do you remember on. when the Gideon Bible people came and they gave out a Bible to everyone in our year? I vaguely remember that. I yeah. wasn't in the class, but um, straight after that, uh, most of my tutor group had drama. Hmm. And uh, I think it was Dexter again. They <laughs> just started it, <laughs> and everyone yeah. was chucking their Bibles <laughs> and Graham. They were like, "Batter!" I can fell off his chair when he got out. Apparently, <laughs> like just yeah, the entire class just chucking yeah. books at. Well, he's one of the few people that I know who was a paedophile before he was an adult. <laughs> like, before he was an adult, before he'd reached the legal age at which he could be a paedophile. Yeah, he's like, he I'm just... going to stick with this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and that's what I like. I like consistency <laughs> and commitment. And uh, I think he really embodied that, you know. Um, but the kid would, he would almost be like ostracized. It was like the monthly witch burning mm. when, or do you remember there was that whole period, that whole spat of just people putting other people in bins? But you would go and like commission a fifth year to do it for you. Yeah. But like, here, can you put that guy in a bin? And you just see the fit, like, you put that guy in the bin, the guy jumped out and tried to fight like three people who were like four or five years older than him. Yeah. This little four, like, first year, just, just I remember oh, that. swirling, was, just his arms were a that, fucking was, blur. That was Swirly's wee brother. Yeah. That was his, uh, what was his mm. name? That was him, eh? Swirly's brother. Do you yeah. remember when we first wee, started? He was, wee, he was a wee guy, and like one of the yeah. older Neds put him in a bin because it was like the guy from his years, uh, yeah. like mate or something like that. And then uh, he like picked him up out of it, and it, like we first year, he just turned and fucking smacked him in the face. Yeah, I remember that, and he just went whoa, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, man. Well, I remember people used to just catch fights on their fucking camera phones, and there was that one of Tom Denham that was became famous of Tom Denham repeatedly, repeatedly hitting. Um, Niall Waddle in the face and Kelly just going what's the that and it's just that <laughs> that like I've seen that video more times than I can remember but just Tom going that was and also, he was just flailing it's from the elbow that's as far out as it went that like was he had also half like, an arm that was during the break time as well and there was no tables or anything out eh? so mm. everyone was just standing and then they just made a perfect circle around them mm. and just watched the whole thing go I'm pretty sure the teachers watched it yeah they didn't even have enough room to fight yeah, yeah. <laughs> was like, I want Crazy. to see <laughs> Yeah, no one would. Uh, do you remember right when we first started high school? There was all these like things outside where people would just throw stuff at each other. When we first started, it was the beginning of that high school. And at one point, big Stu Greenfield oh, jumped yeah. the fence. <laughs> yeah, and he was like I'll twenty that. at that point, and just chased after a bunch of eleven-year-olds <laughs> with like a stick. And I remember being fucking. And the smokers' corner, like, with the, oh, yeah, like the smokers' corner, just stood there and watched the mm. whole thing happen. But it was fucked up. That was like Stu, Stu Greenfield. Like he was like, like you had, he had a reputation for being fucking mental. But like I think like he was always sound to us. He was always like he yeah. never like bothered any of the kids that didn't like chase him and like yeah. or shout at him and shit like that. Like, like he, he at least knew who like the fucking enemy yeah. were. You know? Oh no! Like crazy shit used to happen. Like um, what was the name of that really smart kid that was in our year? Like. Crazy uh, Simon Brand. No, he had like no social skills. He'd come into school on uh, on non school uniform days, in school uniform because oh, his um, parents were like me. <laughs> crazy. Like, that's what no, you me. just used to forget, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you and yeah, like I couldn't be fucked. You were yeah. My, my I remember he just went more, schizo but... in the changing rooms once on his own. Huh? And he was like wiping his ass and then throwing shitty tufts of like toilet roll at people. Like what? he went just crazy. Every so often he would just like he you was the kind of kid that he was nah. but if when he was like twelve, thirteen, if you gave him like sugar, like he would just go nuts. Yeah, no, no, like, yeah. That totally was, that nuts. was a big thing. You weren't supposed to give him anything like with sugar and stuff like that because he wouldn't he wouldn't be used to it at all. Yeah, so he, he had like handle. a fucking sheltered up man. Yeah, because like I remember that like, uh, I remember being outside uh, we used to hang out at lunch, yeah. like us, me, Ross Lane, Keith Robertson and Joe and uh, Connor McLaughlin that like and uh, you, yeah, it was just like basically <laughs> the Joe people, like, yeah, the misfits, basically. Yeah. But I, uh, um, no, I, and uh, you, you and Craig climbed a massive tree, and Mark Rollo like started poking it with a stick, and he was like, "Stop it! Stop it! I'm like serious! Stop it!" And he poked him again, 
and then Ewan just climbed down the tree, picked up the biggest fucking branch I've ever seen, and just fucking smacked Rolo over the back of the head with it. And like, and Rolo's like, what the fuck? He's got took out by this branch. And then Rolo's like, big Rolo's like, oh, I'm gonna charge at him, runs at him, and <laughs> great, you agree, just like, Look at that! Down on the ground, sits on his back and his hands behind his back, and is like there for two minutes. And Rose like, "I'm going to batter you." I'm going to batter you. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, you, "You're not. <laughs> you can't get out of this." He's like, "I'm going to hold you here until you've calmed down." And everyone was watching, and Rose is just wriggling about for like three or four minutes before eventually he just like runs out of energy, and then you know, like that, ah, right? And then the first thing he does is try and take a swing at him, and he just completely misses because he's absolutely exhausted himself. Yeah. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. He was the unluckiest guy in the And just, yeah. and just like conceding. Yeah. <laughs> I remember uh, he like got in a fight. It was the worst thing ever with uh, Michael Rosie. Yeah. And he punched oh him in the back God. of the head and yeah. broke two of his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> like the cheapest shot ever. Fuck. <laughs> It was such a bad shot. Oh, just <laughs> minimum impact, massive collateral damage <laughs> yeah. on oneself. I was yeah, say, but the thing that always reminds me whenever you say, whenever you say Joe Farley, mm. it's just a video that was sent around the high school, like and Joe Farley at the bus stop, just looking at the bus stop times, and then like Ned coming up behind him and just going, all right, and just smacking him in the face, <laughs> in the back of the head, and his head just like ricochets off the of the bus shelter, and he falls down and then gets up and just walks away. It's like a, honestly about a six second clip. Yeah. But it was just that I got sent around the whole school and everyone was I just like saw I'm pretty sure that's Joe Farley at the bus stop and it was. It's fucking easy. And it came from a different school, that was a weird thing. Mm. So it was at other schools as well. Yeah. Yeah, but then things got too far as well, like do you remember the fights that Niall Waddle got into after high school and they were posted on YouTube and shit? Oh yeah, he gets like kicked in the fucking head and shit. That's too those were did that end up on Crime Watch or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Niall Waddle at that time did though have one of those faces. No. Just, <laughs> I know that sounds kinda of brutal, package, but no. yeah, it was sort of just like I'm gonna hit that guy. Yeah. And just or like I remember uh, you know, yeah, you get all these fucking fights, but you had some you had some real crazy kids. Like, I mean, Denny. We discussed yeah. Denny the other day. Denny... I always got on with him. Oh, like, I, I did as well, but he was like a fucking like, time yeah. bomb. Yeah. Like, you didn't know when he was just going to fucking throw it all away. Like, yeah. and I remember when he started, he was the only kid in our school where it, he started and someone was like, oh yeah, do you know why Denny's here? It's like, I don't know, he got moved from another school. No, I stabbed his brother with a pair of scissors and I was just like... <laughs> Do, do they move your school when you do that? Like, you attack the member of your family with a sharp implement, like, instrument. We're going to have to move you public school. Because <laughs> that somehow has an impact on your education. Is that, is that what happened, though? Yeah. Like, because yeah. did he go to Royal High or something? Yeah, he was... He, I think he went to Royal High and then they were like, yeah, yeah, you're, you you're coming to Craigman. You're going to like the fucking loony bin, man. Yeah. You know? Craigman wasn't crazy. It was more just scummy things would happen, you know? Yeah. Like, I remember... Do you guys remember when you were kids? When do you remember Gareth Gates? Oh, yeah. There was this guy that was at school a few years before we were. I think he might have been leaving the year that we started high school. But he went to my primary school. He was called Lewis Hawks, and he was just this crazy little fucker, right? Yeah. And he, uh, he was uh, Gareth Gates was like a runner up in the uh, in in pop. Oh, either. yeah, I, I know. And he school, went yeah. up there because he used to go to the school, and when he went up there. Uh, Lewis Hawks went up to the school and put super glue in his keyholes of his car. Yeah, the, f- like, the fourth one, one. Yeah, and they slashed the tires as well. Yeah, like guy got seriously like his car was fucked up. Mm. And I heard that like I had a mate and he was like, yeah, that car was there for about two weeks before anybody picked it up, <laughs> and he had to walk home. What was it? <laughs> and it's just like what? What was the motive? Why did they do it? Oh, just to be cunts. Fuck it. Yeah, no, this is the kind of guy <laughs> Lewis Hawks was. He was a fucking weird I kid. I can't remember him. I don't yeah. know if I've ever met him, but I remember like, people talking about him. He was just like a rash guy, because there was one that went to our... Uh, Stephen Ramage. Ramage? Uh, Ramage? Ramage. Yeah, he used to, like, set... For, like, see, <laughs> like, like, up at Old Creek, uh, the Old Creek, right? he had a reputation for, like, setting fire to the trees and shit. Is that, is that, <laughs> sorry, was that his prison name? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I like. I I remember like him and his mates. I think like they used to like hang out with the back of the wreck and like I take heroin and shit like yeah. that. Like there was needles back there. They were the older guys who would hang around yeah. back there, and the junkies would go back there because they get the shit kicked out of them by the fucking yeah. Neds. So, like, yeah, no, it's like it. Yeah. it, it fuck, fuck that. The one of these teachers 
Do you guys remember like a substitute for CDT or something called Mr. Beverage? Yeah, yeah, I do. And like you, like his face was four different shades. Like he had four different colors. Part of it, like his <laughs> cheek pigmentation was green, and he had this suit, and he looked like fucking Beetlejuice. Mm. Like that's what he reminded me. But of, you know what he said to like us, like our practical group was. He was like when he was nine years old and stuff like that. He got like sent to one of those juvenile detentions for like arson or something. And we're just like, how are you a teacher now? <laughs> like seriously, what yeah. the fuck? It's just mental. Yeah. I always had the sneaking suspicion that all the CDT teachers were closet homosexuals. Like, all of them. Like, they work in wood. Yeah. You know? And Gunning. like a good Bevlin. Sadler. Like a good Bevlin. No, not Sadler. You said, uh, yeah. uh, what's his name? Sullivan. Yeah, and, and Go- I mean, Gunin was one of those just a heavily, heavily, you know, subsidised homosexual, you know? Uh, and he had, he had built up this facade of heterosexuality for so long that it had become part of him but beneath that was just a raging fucking queen and you could tell I mean Kimber was more you know if you were to put him on the on the homo like Venn Danger diagram of where he falls yeah. and he's more that kind of casual you know optimistic accessible ring <laughs> that you really just don't find in town <laughs> no. at least not sober anyway and um you know, almost, almost inviting, mm. you know, uh, and then, yeah, then you had Mr. Shane, who was just, what, someone I think that goes home and just watches very, very violent porn, because <laughs> he was, you know, like, yeah. uh, he, he just had this dead and look in his eyes as well, you know, like he'd become part of the fucking scenery, like, <laughs> yeah, he was a seriously but fucked teachers, up guy. Are these teachers? Yeah, well, te- yeah, ostensibly the teachers. All the CDT yeah. teachers. Um, what I really knew was good in then, I think. Yeah, well, lucky you, man. Jeez. <laughs> like, he, he's the only teacher you would hear about. Oh, yeah, no, there was there was tons of fights at the weekend, eh? mostly Mr. Good and A, but, you know, some guys at the school as well. Like, you know, one like, student got some a, students, too. One yeah. student got a real big shit for writing Fuck the Pope on his, like, whiteboard. Yeah. Or no, didn't they write it on his car? No, I'm pretty sure it was on the whiteboard as well. I, I like, whiteboard, I yeah. Yeah. Sure it was on the car. Like, like, yeah. You see it, like, good ends at him and things like that. Yeah. driving fucking mental. <laughs> no, see, like you could, you could right, bring yeah. down any of his lesson plans on a given day <laughs> by simply bringing up, like, Celtic. S- like Celtic or football or, like, just Catholics and Protestants, like, sectarian discussion. And the whole thing would just devolve into this thing where Gunan would just shout at an anonymous member or area of the classroom um, and it was fucked up like someone was like all it would take was like dodgy Dave to bring up Rangers and Gunan would be gone he'd be lost and you didn't even know what you were fucking learning that day you know I was a fucking nutbag but he used to have one of those cars where you can tell he would often quite often try and ram raid like straight through in his car like his ex-wife's conservatory you know uh, because his left side passenger door mm. at the front was red and the rest of his car was green <laughs> right and so people were like oh yeah he's, he's, he's like a he's like a closet uh, he's like a closet proddy yeah and people used to say that was a thing because they were like oh yeah you've got a red door you know, yin and yang man, you know, <laughs> red within green. And, like, yeah, he went fucking mental about it, but you can tell that he would just go out on the weekends just fucking drunk and just fight people. Because you heard about him, like, someone, like, like said something to him in a pub, some ex-student, and mm-hmm. he got in, like, a full-on scrap with them yeah. inside the pub, Excellent. you know? But, like, yeah, my brother said that he, like, had him, and he would just, you would take, he would go with you to, like, student support, where you're, like, head of form would be and he would just lose control in the office and have to be like you know talked down yeah. by like the teacher that he was like like basically um mrs reed this um little prick right and he just would lose control you know but yeah our school was full of like really fucking crazy people yeah that's what you get uh, for a public school i should have just stayed up private eh? yeah <laughs> you follow <laughs> this one look there were some pretty fucked up people at private school too. It's Barbara Streisand. Yeah, the South Park episode. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Lewis, <laughs> Lewis had never seen this, but I I like, people were just like, wow, "Oh my god, that's... Barbara Streisand's around there!" Wow, that looks awful compared to the newer stuff, eh? Yeah, it's um, like so simplistic. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I guess when they used the what was it like 
No, it's like when actually, we watched the. Paper he showed me the yeah, um, yeah. the two hundredth and two hundred first yeah. episodes of South Park Flash earlier, Parker. and we mentioned South Park last week on the show. Uh, yes, listeners, we are still aware of your existence, but you're probably going to be us over the next two or three months. Yeah. The only people that fucking listen to this, but uh, and I don't have any problem with that. But like, we watched the two hundred and two hundred first episodes of uh, South Park, and at one point I had to just turn to Laurie and go, right, let me get this straight. <laughs> Right, this is the plot line to date, right? Uh, Cartman is being held by a crazy ginger cult leader <laughs> whose parents Cartman murdered and fed to him at some point in the past. And I haven't listened to or watched a lot of South Park, so some of this stuff is news to me, right? And he has killed this ginger guy's parents, killed the ginger's parents, and he's holding him in some fucked up carnival in the middle of a warehouse called Chili Con Carnival yeah. and he is telling him the story of his life and how the fact that his parents his father was in fact Cartman's father simultaneously Tom Cruise is rigged up to like a censorship juicing machine where he is attempting to extract, extract some of Mohammed's the prophet of Islam um, goo, genetic yeah. material which allows him to become censored it's goo right? this is goo he to then becomes the censored worse. simultaneously to <laughs> this Barbara terms. Streisand a huge gigantic mech robot Barbara Streisand is doing a duet with Neil Diamond yeah. right and this is an episode of South Park that's not fucking normal and, and the, the actual well, plot line officially of the episode is that Cartman is attempting to find out through the inanimate though animated being at the end of his hand who is also a Vietnam War veteran um, is trying Mitch to extract Cora. from Mr. Hat that is Mr. Garrison's puppet the, the, the details and secrets of his own past mm. during the Vietnam War like yeah. What the fuck? That's so that, 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 like, see when you saw the first, the first yeah. episode, and then it like just goes straight into the second one, and it's like Saigon, uh, nineteen seventy three or something like that. Yeah. Or, I think it was like, that. yeah, I it's just, fucking awesome. I, I've heard about the way that they um that they create the the plot lines for those shows. Mm. Apparently, there's like they did a, a documentary series, and it was like Matt Stone, who I think actually writes the actual. Mm. And Trey Parker does a lot of the other stuff, and he does it as well. But he does the animation yeah, more yeah. side of it. And, uh, he'll be running around, and everyone's waiting. So they're like, "Okay, in the next twenty minutes, we need to get this started, this episode, because we're on a schedule, you know, yeah. uh, to begin to create the next one, then the next one. They're on a tight schedule, and he is trying to come up with the new show, and he'll just stop and go, "Okay, it's going to be," and then <laughs> to whatever the fuck they decide is they're going to yeah. put in it. But what point did they go? Okay, so we need Tom Cruise, we need the Prophet Muhammad, we need that ginger kid from like three seasons ago, and we need Cartman to be trying to find out who his father is. Mm. And that that's like what they created out of that. It's fucking mind blowing. Well, I think it's more like eight or nine seasons ago, like this like and that's the that's the point. Like you know you remember the Super Best Friends reference, the fact that they saw Mohammed before. Stan seen Mohammed before because it was in season five. Yeah. Uh, when uh, they take out the David Blaine cult uh, in like a giant John Wilkes Booth uh, mm. parody kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It's, fucking, it's fucking awesome. Like. Yeah, because it's such a simple model. It's just take two separate stories mm. and then give a third overarching storyline to it. Yeah. And while those stories are way more shocking and if they were real would be way more dramatic, have the backing of it. I mean, think about uh, the Chinese one. That's basically about the fact that they saw a bad film. Mm. You know? The whole episode is really about that. Yeah. But Cartman and the Chinese, that's just like a fucking sideshow. But during the course of Cartman and the Chinese, he is involved in a shootout with the police. Yeah. But during the actual main storyline, it's really just them recalling some disturbing things from films. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's crazy. The, the, the main story of the episode, people will always relate to that. Oh, that's the China episode. But it's probably not. It's really the, the Indiana Jones getting raped yeah. episode. But that, that's what we, everyone thinks about it as the Indiana yeah. Jones one. But 
what they mean is the China episode, yeah, because like, that's the you don't yeah, like remember, you don't episode, remember it's the same episode, that's why I was, yeah, like, like I know now, but like before I'd seen it, like a bunch of times, yeah, that could like, be a very like, crude, it was like, two episodes clever ploy to make yeah. people continuously watch them and go, What one was it? and you're still watching South Park and ka ching, yeah. you know, uh, but yeah, what what time are we at? Um, yeah, we're basically good to go up. if you want to, yeah, because yeah, I kind of want to call it to be honest, yeah, do you, right, cool. I still want to do the washing up. Fuck it. <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, like, I wonder what your flat hopefully will not turn out like mine. I don't think so, but it's not looking good at the moment. Yeah. It's just like the shit everywhere. I need to make up to another bedside table. I, I've done nothing to Okay, do. folks, thanks this for is, listening. Do um, right? you mind I have, not, I have people not, around all the not interrupting me during my channel plug, Laurie? No. You wee, you wee dick. Right. <laughs> thanks a lot for listening, folks. Uh, yeah, if you want to see any, other, any more of my content, uh, head over to the channel that you're currently on and subscribe, I suppose, or They're listen in, or channel, like, or dislike, or send me. But it'll be up. this dick. Listen, listen. I, I had this fully formed and functional in my head, and your constant interference, Laurie, right, has now prevented me from doing that. See you guys um, there. Just as bad as like Silent Bob. Yeah. Oh, it's I have like to a reach dick. the space bar. It's like a dick. It's like a dick. <laughs>